working in these weather conditions isn't new to Kirby Burhow. I was uh, previously 10 years as a lineman, uh, power lineman, and then I did some different duties as field technician and underground locating, underground installations. Now, instead of driving up to a transmission tower, it's a wind turbine. Burhow is the manager of Renewable Energy Service at Iowa Lakes Electric Cooperative. Managing this wind turbine project came up that they, they were going to pursue somebody, so I threw my hat into the ring and, and I'm proud to be doing it. He manages Iowa Lakes Electric Cooperative's two wind projects called Superior and Lakota. Today, Kirby sits on the advisory board for Iowa Lakes Community College. They have a wind turbine technology program that keeps getting bigger and better. Kirby is just one of several industry experts who are helping get students ready for jobs just like his. The college has its very own wind turbine for students to climb, and two bladeless nacelles sit right behind the school. Instructor Doug Enger shows us inside. When it got here, they ripped the generator out and they took the gearbox out, so they opened it up to us. So we originally um, began just using it for simple things, rigging, how do I get tools up here, how do I, in a case of emergency, how do I get off of here, uh, how do I get around in here. Anger says the advisory board, the one that Kirby Burhaus sits on, helps focus instructors on real world teaching. I don't think we could do our job without them, to be very honest, because we're in the classroom teaching and technology is advancing and even uh, focusing on us, telling us where we need to go, what we need to be proficient in, uh, kind of giving us that ideal candidate. When this student graduates, this is what we have to see in our industry at this point. And this year we're learning about data acquisitioning, how the data we're recording, how they use that to put up new wind sites and all that. Adam Lachersky is a second year student at Iowa Lakes Community College in the Wind Energy and Turbine Technology Program. Riley Groves is his classmate. He says Iowa Lakes Community College is the place to go if you want to work in wind. I worked with a guy um, that went to another one, but it's not near as large as Iowa, I mean, as Iowa Lakes. And this one's way more hands-on because we got um, techs that are coming that graduated and calling in and saying, hey, you know, to the, to the instructors, you, we need this type of program. We need hydraulics. We need, you know, we need techs to come out with this knowledge. So the school is growing in and of itself as the industry is growing. The executive dean of the school's Esterville campus says in the first year of the WIND program, they had 15 students enrolled. Darren Moeller says today they're enrolling about 100 new students each year. And when you get into an industry that has such high demand and they're begging you to produce technicians and get them out there ready to go, it could, you know, it's very easy to say, well, they've learned enough, let's get them out there. And that has not been our approach. We wanted to make sure that they're the, the best in the industry when they leave us. But soon, they began to run out of space. We want our students to be using exactly what they're going to be using in the field. And uh, so it's the uh, uh, expansion of facilities to handle the students, as well as the equipment needed to uh, um, have quality labs so that they know what they're doing. That's where this story comes back to the local co-op, Iowa Lakes. The co-op helped the college get a $360,000 no-interest grant. The college used the money to expand their facilities. Rick Olison started serving on the college's advisory board from the beginning. As the vice president of operations and engineering at Iowa Lakes Electric Cooperative, he says the co-op has really helped the college focus on safety training and hooking a wind project up to the transmission grid. And this partnership between the college and co-op is good for all. This is a whole new um, uh, kind of employment option for people coming out of uh, high school to uh, go to a vocational technical program, come out with a very good paying job, and keep those resources in our community. Kirby will be working with an intern from the college this summer. Uh, yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting job, a lot of hard work, but pretty good, pretty good pay for them. So for the younger fellows, it's a, it's a real good, uh, good deal for them to get into it on early, early stage. Reporting in Esterville, Iowa, I'm Tracy Battenhausen for Basin Electric.